Wet Lab 6, we're going to look at acids and bases that you can find around your home. So we are going to um, determine pH in two different ways. So the first way that we're going to do it is using pH paper. So we're going to um, look at some different household chemicals, use pH paper that allows us to determine the pH. Now this works because it has indicators that are absorbed into the paper and they change color based on the amount of hydronium ion concentration in the solution. Okay, the more hydronium ion concentration, the lower the pH. The more hydroxide concentration or less hydronium ion concentration, the higher the pH. Another way that we're going to determine the pH is using a homemade indicator. So red cabbage or purple cabbage, depending on um, how you want to think about it, contains a pigment that will change color based on the pH. So we're going to make our very own pH indicator. And you can do this okay, by boiling cabbage. And you can do it either in the microwave or on uh, the stove. I'm going to use a hot plate here to represent our stove. So we do want to make sure that we have a very clean container. Make sure you wash it with soap and water. Um, we're going to add about 100 milliliters of water. If you need to add more, that's perfectly fine. If it boils away too quickly, more is all right. We're going to add about 10 to 11 grams of this red cabbage. Okay. So I'm just going to rip it up so it fits on my scale a little bit better. And I'm currently heating my 100 milliliters of water. And we're going to extract the pigment out of this cabbage. Okay, so now that I have weighed out my cabbage, I'm going to add it into my water and allow it to boil for between five and 10 minutes. If you are using a microwave, okay, you can um, heat it at one minute increments. And our goal is to get this water to change to a purplish color, deep purple color. Um, uh, another thing I should mention is you do want to make sure that you use either distilled or bottled water. Um, tap water, if you have no other options, you can use tap water, but it won't be a deep purple color which makes it harder to measure neutral pHs. Okay. So I'm going to add my purple cabbage leaves into my water and wait for it to boil for 10 to 15 minutes. Once the boiling has completed, you do wanna make sure that you carefully handle your container. So your cabbage juice should be a deep purple color now, and we're going to transfer it into a separate container. Careful to not add the leaves of the cabbage. And we're going to allow it to cool. Okay. Um, you do also, at this point, want to take a selfie of um, your cabbage juice or um, use a note card and take a picture so you can include it in your in the PowerPoint slides. We're gonna allow these to cool. Make sure you use a pot holder or something to handle the hot containers. And while that is cooling, we're going to make a measurement with our pH paper. So you do want to find five different substances. So um, uh, if they are clear or close to colorless, that works the best. I'm gonna use vinegar and baking soda, but you do want five of them, so you can find other substances around your place. I'm gonna take a little bit of vinegar and add it to a shallow plate. 
I'm gonna take a little bit of my baking soda, and this is a solid, so we are going to have to add just a little bit of water to our baking soda. I had already placed some on this plate. So we're gonna add a little water to mix with that baking soda. Be careful if you're making these measurements um, so that the substances don't mix. Um, there can be reactions that happen between acids and bases. Um, particularly dangerous is bleach mixed with ammonia or bleach mi mixed with vinegar. It can release chlorine gas. So make sure that um, if those are substances you're testing that you keep them far apart from each other. So now we're going to use our pH paper and add it into the substance and compare the color that results to our code here to determine the pH. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with baking soda. Okay, determine the pH. Once your cabbage juice has cooled, we're gonna clean this plate up. We're gonna start with some new substances that have not, or the same substances, but that haven't been tested. And we're going to test it with the cabbage. Make sure that you take a picture of the pH paper to include in your presentation as well, or in your PowerPoint. So I've now cleaned up the pH paper. I have my vinegar added to the plate. I have my baking soda. Again, I need to add just a little bit of water because baking soda is a solid. So I'm going to add a little bit of water, dissolve that baking soda. Okay. And now I'm going to add a few drops of my uh, cabbage juice to the two substances to see the color that is produced. So I've added some to the vinegar. I'm going to add some to the baking soda. Okay. And we're going to look in the procedure. There is a chart of pH indicators um, in the cabbage juice. And you're going to compare the colors that you got to the colors in this indicator chart to see what pH you think those substances are. If they are drastically different from what you measured in the pH paper, there may have been some contamination that has occurred. So you may have mixed some of your substances. They should be somewhat close to those pHs we previously measured. We're then going to um, use the pH scale, we're going to order them from the most acidic to the most basic. Okay. See if they agree with our pH paper. And we're going to classify them. So kind of there's a list of different classifications for strongly acidic, weakly acidic, neutral, weakly basic, and strongly basic. So you're going to categorize them based on the pHs that you measure. Okay. And you're going to include that in a table that's provided for you in the PowerPoint. Um, again, as you're cleaning up, you do want to take a picture of this. And as you're cleaning up, um, the waste can go down the drain, but be careful not to um, mix bleach with anything. So if as you're doing this, there is places to record your data um, as you're doing your measurements on the last page of the procedure. So you can record your pH of the solution with the paper, the pH with the cabbage juice, or the color and the pH, and then the classification. There is also a question for you to answer Thinking about some substances, identify what color will those substances would be if they're mixed with the cabbage juice. And why do you think that um, these would be a little more difficult to measure with the pH with cabbage juice? So think about why that may be. 
Okay. Also, make sure that you wear your goggles throughout the course of this experiment. Um, and then uh, as you clean up again, all of this can go down the drain. The cabbage can go in the trash. Um, just be careful not to mix um, bleach with any of the other substances. If at any point you feel uncomfortable, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. And um, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Thank you.